It's an extraordinary place. It's talked about everywhere. It's the world's biggest fresh produce market. This comes from India. 10,000 tons of food pass through Rangis each night. It's a different world. 40,000 people in total work across the whole site. Everyone's asleep at this hour. It's great. Rangis is a city within a city, with separate neighborhoods dedicated to each type of food. It's now midnight and the fish area is starting to get busy. This comes from Brittany, it's a big conger eel. These fish were hauled from the sea the day before and wholesalers now put their best catch on show for buyers, be they restaurant or shop owners, and the price is always negotiated. Then the squid at 13 euros? Do you want two boxes of them? The prices vary depending on supply and demand. This job is all about being a big fat liar. We never tell the truth. We can't tell the truth because if we taught the truth, we wouldn't make a living. Does everyone lie? Of course, everyone here lies. The bidding war is fascinating. We name a price, they come back with a different one and we meet in the middle. A special team is on hand to make sure the goods on sale are the best quality. There are roughly 10 inspectors at Rangis. It's now two in the morning and they've come to the meat section. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. We're the inspection service. Their job tonight is to check randomly selected carcasses from wholesalers. We've looked at the temperature and that's being respected. It's 3.8 degrees. For beef, it can't exceed 7 degrees. The work areas and cutting equipment also need to be checked. So today the result is positive. We work at the bottom of the chain, so we inspect all these products before they reach the consumer's plate. We check that everything is safe to eat and above all we prevent any risk of contamination. The food sold is eaten by 18 million French consumers every day. The market might be a nocturnal affair, but a whole array of amenities are still available. There are 20 restaurants, cafes, bakeries and tobacconists. We can even play the lottery. And they all stay open right through the night. The work here is tiring, but it's broken up with some well-deserved breaks, even at 4 a.m. We serve dishes like a rib steak, a cheek of beef or a stew. And today it's a sausage with a traditional cheesy mashed potato. My day began at 10.30 p.m., so this is my main meal. It's a place to meet up with people and it's where we come to relax as well. Even when the wholesalers hang up their aprons for good, they still find it hard to stay away. This is our life. I started here when I was 14 and now I'm 80. It's hard to leave a place like this where there's such a good atmosphere. We're not afraid to get out of bed to come once a month to say hello to our friends. Hello, Michelle. And even in the middle of night, it's still a good time to air some grievances with the market's president. People come to me with the same problems that a mayor has to deal with. These are normally planning issues, like should the hours be brought forward or pushed back. Another team works right around the clock to make sure the market's 234 hectares are safe and secure. And that team is headed up by a former army general. Keep an eye on the toll booth. If Rangis were ever to be shut down, a quarter of the French population would be deprived of food. This is the stomach of Paris. Rangis supplies hospitals, nurseries and prisons, so this food supply must be uninterrupted. Former members of France's elite police even patrol the aisles. What we most frequently have to deal with is the theft of goods. There are no real problems tonight, and as the day breaks, lorry drivers prepare for bed after a long shift transporting vast quantities of produce. It's more than just a house. We spend our days and evenings here. This is my home.
Some more. Two more. The night shift is over, but other tradesmen like hairdressers, shoe repairers and dry cleaners are just starting their day. The brushers also come out to sweep the empty sheds as the day's visitors arrive in this city, which never sleeps.